In 1831, Michael Faraday showed that a magnet could generate electricity within a coil of wire. This amazing experiment turned motion and magnets into electrical power. This is how we make electricity today, whether the motion comes from burning fossil fuels, nuclear or renewable sources. But as impressive as this achievement is, do you understand what's going on? Did Faraday understand how electricity and magnetism were linked? It took a young, free-thinking, 24-year-old Scottish physicist, James Clark Maxwell, to figure it all out. From 1855 to 1865, Maxwell published papers showing mathematically how electricity and magnetism work. Although we write them a bit differently these days, they are still called Maxwell's equations. His greatest discovery was proving that a moving electric charge can create an electromagnetic field, which spreads out through space at a constant speed. Which just happens to be the speed of light. Maxwell didn't think this was a coincidence and declared light to be electromagnetic radiation. Furthermore, Maxwell predicted that there would be other frequencies of radiation waiting to be discovered. This is what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. This wasn't Maxwell's first discovery with light. In 1861, he invented color photography. Maxwell died in 1879, 48 years old. He described the existence of the vast electromagnetic spectrum years before it could be detected. Not only do we live in a world in which our communication, medicine and modern appliances depend on our understanding of the electromagnetic spectrum, but Maxwell's way of thinking about light was a very modern one. He was always curious, questioning, what's the go of that? And using maths to help us understand the world around us. Let's leave the last word to Albert Einstein. The special theory of relativity owes its origins to Maxwell's equations of the electromagnetic field.